Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. I am going to start the course by looking at whole AI as a domain and see where does RL fit in that domain. Then we are going to look at the definition of reinforcement learning and see the elements of reinforcement learning. So where does RL fit in? Artificial intelligence is this broad discipline of CS which is concerned with finding techniques to make machines that have human level intelligence. Machine learning is a part of artificial intelligence which allows computer programs to automatically improve based on data. And further into it lies deep learning. Deep learning uses artificial neural networks to learn from vast amount of data and find hidden information that other methods can't find. Reinforcement learning is a part of machine learning as it uses experience from the world to learn to do a certain task. Now let us take a more formal approach and define reinforcement learning. The objective in reinforcement learning is to learn to do a task by interacting with the environment using actions and maximizing the total reward resulting from those actions. The system which takes the actions is called an agent in RL and it acts on the environment. The environment gives a reward to the agent for the action it took. This reward can either be positive or negative and acts as a signal to our system and tells about the quality of the action taken by it. A good reward encourages the system to take the same action whenever it faces the same situation in the future and a bad reward discourages the agent to take the same action in the future. One can intuitively think that an action can also affect the future as the events might be connected. This shows us the two characteristics of reinforcement learning algorithms. The first one is the trial and error search. The agent tries different actions in a given state and finds out the best action in the state. The other characteristic is the delayed rewards. It can happen that the agent gets a reward only after it goes through many different states and taking different rewards. Take the example of a game of chess. Sometimes it might be difficult to know if a particular move was good or bad until you win or lose the game. So, in summary, we can say that RL agent learns from the consequences of its own actions. Let us look at the elements of RL. We know the agent observes the environment, takes an action and gets a reward for that action. This is very similar to how humans learn. You see a box of chocolate, eat it and become happy. Here. The environment is the box of chocolate. You observe the chocolate in the environment and take the action of eating it. The reward is the happiness that you get from it. If you observe, you will repeat this behavior whenever a box of chocolate is shown to you. Similarly, you don't eat the crayon because you tried it in your childhood and the reward was a bad taste. The other elements of RL are the policy, the reward function, the value function and the model of the environment. We will have a look at each of them individually next. A policy can be understood as a function that tells the agent the action that should be taken in the given state. The flow can be understood using this simple diagram. The agent observes the current state of the environment that is state 1 here. Then the agent uses its policy function to decide which action should be taken for the state 1. The environment moves to a new state that is state 2 because of the agent's action and returns a reward for that action. We need to keep in mind that this reward might not always be good as the agent is learning to take the right actions in a given state and that's the whole point of RL. So we can write the policy as a function p which takes in the state 
and gives out the action that should be taken in that state. As we know, at each time step, the agent takes an action and gets a reward. We need to understand that the immediate reward that the agent receives can be small but the total reward in the long run can be maximum. Take an example of the game of chess. A move can result in a loss of peace which is a bet as an immediate reward. But it can be good in long run to win the game. So we can understand the reward function R as it takes in the action and gives the reward of that action. Reward function tells us about the quality of the action in a given state. Similarly, value function tells us how good a state is for an agent to be in and is equal to the expected total reward that the agent can get starting from this current state. Coming back to our chess example, suppose a player is in the winning position, then our value function should give a higher value to the state to that state as compared to a losing state. If you think about it, the value function depends on the policy that the agent is using to take the action. This is because of the fact that different policies will give different actions and thus different value function. We learn it in more detail later in the course. The value function can be written as a function v which takes in a state and returns the quality of that state for the agent to be in. A model of the environment can be understood as a function that mimics the characteristics of the actual environment. It is the mathematical representation of the actual environment. It is very difficult to come up with a good model of the environment as it might require a lot of understanding of the environment. Later in the course, we learn techniques that can work without using any model of the environment and thus avoid the difficult task altogether. In this video, we looked at RL and its different components like the agent, environment, policy function and the value function. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.